Hey there, welcome back to Simon Says. Now today we're going to have a look at smart blinds. Now a lot of people think you have to get a professional in to do this, but if I can install them, you can certainly do it yourself. Now to be totally transparent with you, Smartwave did send me this blind free of charge, but they have no control over what I'm going to say, and this is not a sponsored video. So Smartwave has a whole lot of different options available. We've got these motorized outdoor shades. We've got woven wood shades. Um, there are even Roman type shades, uh, zebra shades. So all sorts of different options. Now they show it working with Apple, Amazon, Google, and SmartThings. It uses Matter over Thread. And I'm gonna show you how we can connect this to Home Assistant. I'm going to be using the Thread Border Router in Apple Home. I'm using the Apple HomePod Mini. Navigating the site to order the blinds is pretty straightforward. You select your type of blind. So I'm going with a roller shade. Next, you can choose what type of fabric you're wanting. I wanted a 100% blackout for my bedroom. Once you've come into here, you name it bedroom one, select your fabric type. I decided to go for a white fabric type. You can see here that it's got a little bit of fleck. Now, one thing I would recommend is certainly ordering a, a set of the color swatches so that you can look at the fabrics prior to ordering them. Next up, you need to measure your windows. Now, this is really important to get it correct. It is in inches, so if you're in a metric zone, you need to use a converter. So you select the actual size of the blind. So say, for example, it's 30 inches, and then uh, let's say it's half of a fractional inch. Um, you then select your height. So let's say that's 20 inches, for example, with no fractional inches. Next up, your motor type. So if you go for a standard motor, this is just gonna give you a remote control to control the motor. Um, ideally, if you've got a smart home, you want to be able to communicate it, and they offer a matter option. So they do actually show this can connect to Home Assistant. Um, I haven't had much luck in getting um, a thread border router working properly with Home Assistant as yet, so I'll be going via Apple Home and then sharing it across to Home Assistant. Next, you need to select your roller type. So are you rolling it in the back or the front? So I'm going to go with a standard roll, which is rolling down the back. Next, we choose the, the motor side. So I'm going with the motor on the right hand side. Next is your remote controller. Now they offer a whole lot of range of different remote controllers. Um, let's select, for example, a one channel remote because this is just for a single bedroom. But you can also get a wall mounted uh, switch remote as well, which I have got it and I'll show you what that looks like. Next, you need to select the valance and bar styles. So I quite like these ones with the valance or the closed aluminum cassette at the front like this because it hides the actual roller blind itself. You can choose light blockers if you need them. I've got curtains on my windows already, so this does block the line, the light at the edges. Next up, we can go along and we can add this to cart. The package took two weeks to arrive and I was blown away by how rigid the box is. This is certainly not going to get damaged in transport. Inside the box was the charging cable, instruction guides, wall mounted switch, brackets, remote control and solar panel as well as the blind itself. Installing the blinds is pretty simple. You can see I've got this mullion on the inside of my window. So I had to install the brackets so that they would be on the inside of the mullion. Now this did mean that the whole blind stuck out slightly, but the only other option would have been installing it on the external, in which case it wouldn't have allowed me to have the curtains over the top of the blinds. So you've got a couple of ways you can screw it in. You can either screw it in up against the underside of the top of the window or you can mount it using a screw up against the mullion. Now one thing that I did come up with as an issue over here was that the quality of the screws that are provided with the pack are really really weak and it, when you drive them at a fast speed they can easily rip the head of the screw off. So I would honestly recommend buying your own screws after installing the four clips, you just lift the blind up, push it in from the front side 
and then clip it in at the back. The solar panel is stuck in at the top side of the window, pretty easy with the two double-sided tape strips, and then you just plug it in using the USB-C cable. The remote control comes prepared with the blinds, so you can immediately press the down button and the blind starts moving down. It's extremely quiet. Now the upper and lower limits have been preset, but if you need to change them, you can easily do so. Matter pairing is enabled by pressing a small pin into the hole and waiting for the light to start flashing. Next up, I opened the Apple HomeKit, selected the plus button in the top right of the screen, add accessory, and then you need to scan the QR code. This can be found on the underside of the blind. The last step is to share this with Home Assistant. To do this, open up the blind in HomeKit, press the little wheel, turn on the pairing mode, copy the code, open up Home Assistant, Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, Add a Meta Device. Yes, it's already in used. Select Apple HomeKit, paste the code in over here, and add device. Now that we have the blind within Home Assistant, we have the up, down, and stop controls. We can also select a certain position percentage. We have our firmware showing up to date. We've got the battery percentage, battery charging state, battery voltage, for some reason or other this is not pulling through, and the target opening position. Along with the package, I received this wall-mounted blind switch, which is pretty cool. You can basically screw this into the wall, and then you have your up, stop, and down position controls on your blind. So this is a pretty cool way. It means that even if you can't find your remote control, at least you have a way of easily controlling the blinds as you enter the room, especially good for the home acceptance factor. So in summary, these blinds are really, really easy to install as long as you buy yourself some decent screws to go along with them. Integration into HomeKit is super easy, and then we were easily able to share them over into Home Assistant. And I found that the Matter system being local here on my home network is really stable, and it works really well as, as well as not being dependent on the internet connection. So that's all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know what your thoughts are about smart blinds. Do you use bought smart blinds like this? Are you doing your own DIY blinds? Or are you retrofitting blinds with existing motors into your existing blinds? Well, that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.